Hey guys, how are you? Myself Akram from Unyable again with another video. Today's video is going to be related to the rise and fall of your Zoom meeting tool. So basically due to coronavirus, we need to have some software where we can meet with either team which is going to be related to job or lectures which is going to be related to universities and school. We uh, basically have few of the existing softwares. Basically they are Skype but over there we will not be able to have communication between so many people but over here there are few other softwares just like Jitsi where we can actually use just like Zoom or even using Jitsi we can use own hosted application that is we can actually download the source code and install in our server and we can use it for our purposes so over here basically for that also we need to pay for virtual private servers or dedicated servers for that we need to hire some server administrators instead of that we have started using zoom zoom is an application which has been founded in 2011 it is not so popular but later on in the lockdown stage it got so much popularity where millions of people started using that but however if any application gets into more popularity then hackers comes into existence they are not called as hackers but they are called as cyber criminals because over here ethical hackers are completely different when compared to cyber criminals these people do everything legally and those people hack into accounts or anything for their advantage or for money so these people have done few of the things where there is a fall in zoom app that is not basically because of zoom video conferencing applications security issues however it has few security issues but over here it is all related to the older breaches of other applications so what just happened so basically it just depends on you what or the username and password you have used in uh, previous websites and if those websites got breached and if you are using the same password even on zoom then your account is breached to explain in simple ways they have actually used three steps very first comes to uh, the breach compilation or some breach data that have already been uploaded on internet and i have actually said about breach data in previous videos also you can find out over there and you can search these breach data online you are going to get it for free right now but not zoom login data so over here what they have done is they have collected the whole breach data and they started extracting all the emails they did not do anything manually so first stage is collecting data that is breach data of other websites and in second stage they have configured their application or tool where they have pointed out to zoom application uh, with multiples of IP addresses where Zoom application will not be able to find any suspicious activity related to logins. So second stage is actually very important for them where they have configured the tool and in third step they make an application in such a way that each account of breach data need to connect to Zoom with the username and password according to the breach data and they started collecting data of successful logins. So basically over here the breach data is very old that is 2013 breaches and i think if we want we can uh, check out with that breach data we can uh, use our own configuration of uh, gmail facebook linkedin twitter and many other websites and we can do the same thing with many applications or websites then we are going to get a bunch of data that is how these people that is cyber criminals who are actually started selling this uh, data so there is no particular hack over here actually zoom's database isn't breached so over here i just want to say you that it's better for you to use unique password for each and every account you create online if you go with the same password on each and every account then it is going to be a trouble for you itself because each and every account that is each and every website will not be having the same security as topmost websites just like google or facebook so you need to check out with that from your end itself or you may face these type of issues later on so this is the thing for today guys thanks for watching it's better for you to check out with each and every account password on internet and make it unique so it is going to be helpful for you now or even later on so finally this is for today guys thanks for watching please smash that like button if you like this video and please go down below and click on red subscribe button to support my channel see you next video have a nice day and finally be unique to be unkickable Oh,